Hello class, and welcome to EDCI 615, Teaching Science in the Elementary Classroom. I'm so pleased to be joining you with this class, and I'm looking forward to the things that we will be doing together. I've been teaching science for 25 years. I've been teaching in middle grades and elementary and secondary for 20 years, and this is my sixth year in higher education. I've taught middle-level secondary and elementary science in the undergraduate level, and I'm looking forward to teaching you this class and working with you uh, as we discover, as we uh, look at new ways that we can make our classrooms, our science classrooms, more interesting and more engaging for our students. What I want to start off by doing is going over the Blackboard uh, environment that we'll be working in as well as going into our syllabus and then uh, giving you kind of an overall summary of what the course is going to do, uh, what we're going to do together in this course. Uh, what I would like to do first of all is take a look here at your landing screen. In Blackboard, uh, if you go to the course information, uh, which is the top button, which is the landing screen that you'll come into when you click on EDI 615. Uh, you'll see the Start Here button, and the Start Here button is where you're going to be um, looking at the introduction video. Uh, next is going to be the syllabus, and then there are videos for each one of the 10 modules plus uh, videos for the two parts of the final project. Next uh, that I want to take you to is the course documents. Uh, the course documents are where each one of the assignment sheets are at. And what I've tried to do is make each one of the 10 uh, module assignment sheets be uh, self-contained in that when uh, you read through the material, when you uh, uh, click on the resources, so just click on it, it'll download and it will be in a Microsoft Word format. All you need to do, there it is, uh, all you need to do is uh, read through the information, uh, put your responses in these beige boxes and then click on the hyperlinks and it should take you to each one of those places. If one of the hyperlinks isn't working or taking you to a wrong place, please do let me know. I'll be happy to fix that and uh, get, uh, get the program back on track. Um, for each one of the uh, uh, lessons, uh, there are five sections. Uh, there's section one, uh, there's section two, and then you can see the hot links in blue, and you can see the responses where I'm looking for you to make a response there in beige. And then uh, section three, then section four, and then section five. And uh, there's the, an alternative option there that I'm going to talk more about. And then finally, some closing thoughts. Once you have completed that document, uh, all you need to do is save it and then go to Blackboard and then go to Assignments. And then in the Assignments section, just post uh, where it says Post Module 1, Post uh, Module 2, where it says Post Module 2, Module 3, Module 4, so on and so forth, as well as the last uh, two projects, your final project and your final report. So each one of those things you're going to post right here in the assignments. Now there are a few things that I that you're not gonna that are not gonna fit in that uh, that uh, beige box like a PowerPoint presentation, but do go ahead and upload it uh, to the module uh, section. Uh, like if it's Module 1, uh, upload that PowerPoint to Module 1 uh, because Blackboard will allow for multiple posts. So you don't have to worry about uh, just one post. Keep posting and that will all be there. All right, there are a few times where I want us to use the discussion board. And so if you click on discussion board, you'll see the different sections here. And all you need to do is click on those sections and uh, post your web resource. 
Uh, each one of the 10 modules will have an engagement resource, and I'm asking that you post that engagement uh, resource uh, there for others to see the good work uh, or the good resources that you've gathered so that when we're done, we'll be able to use the resources, not just that we found, but what other people in this class have found. I'm only going to be sharing this with people within this class, so don't worry about privacy because it's just the people within this class. I'm not going to publish that information. Uh, there are a few web links uh, already up, and there are going to be more as those uh, become available. Uh, Echo Center is where you can uh, click on the different videos uh, if you want to. And of course, tools uh, are right there. Gives you like email, announcements. There's all kinds of stuff that Blackboard wants to do. And of course, your help is right there as well. So that is the Blackboard environment. Now let's uh, go to the syllabus. If you click on the syllabus, it will jump up, and mine is jumping up as a PDF file. Uh, again, I'm Dr. Gary Bradley. Uh, you can contact me anytime uh, via email. I'm pretty quick about getting back with my email, uh, phone messages. I'm going to be in uh, my office most of July working on my promotion of tenure files and of course this course so don't hesitate at any time to contact me I'm happy to answer questions I'm happy to uh, bounce ideas with you I like to uh, and I enjoy working with my students disregard that uh, cell phone that you're hearing there sorry about that class uh, <clears throat> so, uh, as we're moving on uh, to look at uh, this as three credit hours, this is a full three credit hour course. I, I teach this course uh, during the school year, or I have taught it during the school year, uh, and what that means is this course meets once a week for three hours, uh, so the, over the 15-week time period. So we've got uh, three hours times that uh, 15, that's 45 hours. For each hour of class, I'm looking for about three to six hours of homework. So if you were to be taking this class during the school year, you'd be looking at uh, 45 hours for class time and another 45 or so hours or more for homework time. So that's uh, 80, 95 to 100 hours. Uh, for this course, I've created 10 modules, and each module I've kind of gauged it in my mind so that it's going to run between 7 and 10 hours. If you're spending more than 7 or 10 hours in this uh, per module, please do let me know. I'm not here to overwhelm you, uh, but we, there are some things that are important, some things that I feel are going to be valuable uh, that you can use uh, in your classroom. That's my goal. I want this class to be very practical. And if you see ways that you can make this class more practical, maybe some alternative assignments or adjustments to your assignments, please do let me know that because my goal is to give you resources when you're done with this course so that you have lesson plans, you have resources, some things that you can use when you go back into the classroom. But this course should take you about uh, 7 uh, to 10 hours uh, per module. Please let me know if it's taking more time than that, and I will work with you on it. Uh, you can read through the conceptual frameworks. These are very similar to the graduate frameworks of USC Upstate. Uh, this course uh, has um, the requirements uh, are only going to, or I should say the resources that we're going to be looking at are all online. There is not a textbook required for this class. Um, I've got these uh, resources. I've scoured and looked, and I thought, you know, we could go with a, you know, a, a book, uh, but the material that I found online is meeting my expectations, and so why go to the extra expense of having a book when these things are readily online? So uh, there is not a book required for this class, but if you want some great books, um, I've got some great uh, science books. I'd be happy to share with you uh, the resources. Okay, uh, yeah, instructional strategies, course assignments, yes, late assignments, 10% uh, per day, but if you have some extenuating circumstances, please let me know. I'm always happy to consider uh, what, uh, what those extenuating circumstances are. 
Of course, you need to do your own work because it's going to be these, these assignments uh, are going to be valuable to you, and I want you to have things that are going to be uh, things that you can use in your own classroom. And so since these are going to be things for you, you're going to want to do these things, of course, uh, yourself so you have that resource. Uh, changes in the syllabus, uh, I don't like to change the syllabus. However, I will change the syllabus if it is a benefit uh, to us as, the cla as a class, and I will, of course, let you know uh, what those changes are. Uh, each one of the modules are listed as far as uh, their point allocations and as far as the final project allocations. Uh, there are a thousand points possible and the points are broken down there uh, just on the right hand side of the page. Uh, there are the rubrics uh, for the modules, 1, 5, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Uh, are on page 3, and for 2, 3, 4, and 6, they are listed there on page 4. Uh, the <coughs> other rubrics, as far as the, um, the final project rubrics, are also listed there on page 5. You can take a look at those. Okay, uh, very important, our course uh, dates. Uh, I know the course starts uh, July 5, and you can start earlier if you even want to do that. Uh, the modules for 1, 2, and 3 are already open, and you can start uh, working on those uh, as you would like to. Uh, July uh, 7 and 8, uh, those are going to be module 1 and 2. Uh, July 13, you're welcome to uh, look at the view introduction. That's when I'm, the 13th is my expectation when you will have viewed this introduction. Uh, the first due date is not until July 14, and that's when uh, module one is due. Uh, you can see when each one of these modules are due uh, here on the side, and then you can also see which modules I would like you to get started with. So topics are here in the middle, and when they're due is here on the right side. So these are the dates here on the left and when they're due on the right. Uh, you can uh, see that we will be finishing up, whoops, pressed the wrong button there, that we will be finishing up, uh, if I can get the, back to where I was, uh, we're getting close. <laughs> uh, we will be, f there it goes. We will be finishing up, uh, the uh, last day of class is August 5. Uh, that's when all of the assignments are due. So um, keep those uh, lists in mind. Uh, the next two pages are just some memberships, the South Carolina Science Council. Uh, it is the um, science um, organization for science teachers in the state of South Carolina. And there is NSTA. And that is the, um, the premier science teacher organization for the United States. Uh, both of these are fine organizations. I belong to them, and I look forward to uh, the uh, publications and the presentations and the conferences uh, that they have, uh, they have um, set up each year. And uh, NSTA also has some regional conferences, and I've attended uh, these conferences in NSTA, and I've really liked it. It's a really uh, positive experience. So uh, that's the syllabus, and I've got, um, we, what we've just done is we've gone over the syllabus, we've just gone over uh, the Blackboard environment, and again, if you have any questions on these things, please do let me know. I'm happy to talk with you. I'm happy to um, work with you on these things, and I'm looking forward to uh, this class with you. Uh, again, we want to. I want to make this course as productive, as valuable as possible for you. So, if you have some ideas, uh, please share those ideas, and let's uh, look at those because uh, let's have something. My goal is to have something. Have some artifacts that you can use uh, that will make you more effective in your classrooms. And so I want to work with you one-to-one uh, -one on that. So welcome, and I look forward to working with you. Hope your day goes well.